What up, YouTube? Let's hear. Thanks again for visiting the channel. As always, I appreciate it. Uh, what do I got for you today? We're going to do uh, a couple of things, actually. Um, uh, I've got a couple of uh, mod reviews that I, I, I was going to do them both together, but uh, I don't want to take anything away from, uh, from either company, so I'm going to do them each individually. Uh, the first one I have here is, uh, is my, um, my AD20.5, uh, which I just got a a set of uh, aftermarket scales from Flytanium. Um, these uh, just came out a few months ago. Uh, it took them quite a while to get these uh, uh, perfected and, and out to the public. Uh, but <clears throat> I will say, uh, you know, they made a comment. Uh, I'm not sure if it was on the uh, the notification that they were released or or if you know it was on a little letter inside the package, but. They said, uh, you know, we know it took us a while to get these ready and available for you guys, but we wanted to make sure that they were right. Uh, and, and I think that they really, uh, uh, you know, they were serious about that and they did a really good job. Uh, these scales are absolutely wonderful. Um, I, I don't I don't see how they could have done anything better with these. I really don't. Uh, I also, as you can see, I also bought the backspacer. Um, <clears throat> they come in a couple of different colors. Uh, I wanted to get a, uh, a black back backspacer for it, but, uh, I didn't think it would look quite right, uh, with the rest of the, the knife. So I went ahead and, and, and got the, uh, the stainless steel, uh, without any coating on them. Uh, so I, I think it looks really, really good. Uh, this, um, set of scales, uh, for this knife fit absolutely perfectly. The action is still fantastic on this knife. The ergonomics, as you can see, are pretty much the same, uh, as the old scales. Uh, these are the injected molded, injection molded plastic or gribery, whatever you want to call them that came with the knife. Um, I have actually two sets of scales for this knife. There's the orange ones that it came with, uh, and I also bought a white set, uh, so that I could dye them and I dyed them blue, as you can see. Um, the, the first thing that I've noticed with these scales is that they, uh, th they make it a completely different knife. You can see how much thicker, uh, these scales are, uh, when you compare them to the, um, the, the, the factory scales. Uh, these things are basically paper thin, uh, when you compare them to the aftermarket scales. So they definitely change the feel of the knife in, in hand. Uh, and I think they, they feel a lot better, a uh, lot more substantial uh, in your hand. It, it turns it into a whole new life, a whole new knife, and I absolutely love them. Forgive my dogs for barking. They heard a car go by, so obviously I have to freak out about it. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So uh, as you can see, uh, I went with red uh, scales, and I think the color on these things is, is fantastic. Um, it's not too bright, not too dark, uh, and the texture on them is fantastic as well. I can't remember what they call this texture, but they don't they don't come in a bunch of different textures or anything like that. It's only one texture, but they obviously come in a bunch of different colors. Um, I think the first color they released was like day glow yellow or something like that, which I I don't I don't like fluorescent anything on my knives uh, if I can help it. Uh, they also come in uh, gray, black, green, blue, red, a uh, bunch of different colors. Uh, but, I mean, as you can see, uh, they they fit absolutely perfect. There's no issues with the fit and finish on this knife at all. All, this, all the seams match up perfectly. Uh, the backspacer uh, works really, really well. It fits very well on the knife. Uh, no problems with the pocket clip. They do send you an extra set of screws, uh, just because with the scales, obviously they make the knife a lot thicker. Um, so the factory screws that go into the pocket clip are not going to fit. Uh, so, uh, they actually send you two sets. There's one set that's coated black and another set that's stainless steel. Uh, so those will match up with your knife pretty well. Uh, but as I said, these scales are, are absolutely wonderful. Um, I really can't find anything uh, to complain about with these things. They're great. Uh, so if anybody out there is looking to possibly get a set of aftermarket scales for your knife uh, from Flytanium uh, for your AD20.5, I would absolutely recommend getting them. Um, uh, as I said, they, they turn it into a whole new knife, uh, the way it feels in your hand, the texture, the color looks fantastic. These are absolutely perfect. Uh, I, I love them. I love, I like them a lot. 
Uh, the shark lock still works great on this knife with these scales. Um, as you can see, flips in and out perfectly. You can do the thumb flick. You can do the middle finger flick. You can actuate it with just the shark lock. Um, it doesn't um, cause any issues with the action at all, having these aftermarket scales on this knife. Uh, like I said, the, uh, the backspacer fits very, very well, and I think um, it, it adds uh, a lot of character to the knife. You can, I think you can get it. Uh, I'm not sure if they have them in different textures, like smooth or gemmed, uh, but uh, I think this is the only option that you can get. But uh, I would definitely uh, recommend getting the backspacer for it. Um, I'm not sure if the regular backspacer that comes with the knife fits. I believe it does. Yeah, so if you decide to stick with the old backspacer, that will still work. Um, but like I said, I think it adds a lot of character to the knife to add one of the uh, just titanium backspacers that they sell for these things. I'm um, not sure what's going on with the focus on my camera. I apologize about that. Uh, I am working on looking into getting a better camera for the channel just because um, I'm tired of the, the focus having all these issues and everything. Plus the uh, the this is a, a budget knife that I have. It's a Samsung, but it's um, I think it's like an A twenty one or something like that. It's not the premium model, so you, the camera that comes with it isn't isn't exactly great. Uh, so again, I apologize about the focus issues. Um, the uh, the pivot for this thing matches up perfectly with the scales. The way they have uh, all the holes drilled and the uh, ergonomics. Uh, cut into the scales are, are, are absolutely perfect. Uh, there's no fit and finish issues with this. Uh, like I said, I just, I can't say enough positive uh, about these scales. I think everybody should go out and get themselves a set. Uh, memory serves, I think they were around 60 or 65 bucks, uh, which isn't prohibitively expensive. Um, and and um, I, I think they, they really just make a world of difference uh, with this particular knife. Um, if you're into grivery or injected molded plastic, you like these sort of thing, that's fine. You don't necessarily, um, you know, nobody's going to judge anybody for keeping the plastic scales on here, but uh, I really do think they add a lot to it. Um, what else can I tell you about these scales? I don't think there's really anything else to say on these ones. Uh, I just, again, I am a big fan. I like them a lot. I'm probably get another set of colors just to change it up a bit every once in a while if I feel like it. Um, so let's move on to the next one. Uh, so I have the AD20S, uh, which is the uh, same size as the AD20. It's just a little thinner. Uh, and it comes with, again, uh, injected molded plastic rivalry handles. Um, these originally were yellow, um, but I dyed them red uh, uh, at some point just because I wanted to change the color. I'm not a huge fan of yellow or orange or any of those bright colors for knives. I do own a few orange knives, but that's only because I can't dye the... Uh, can't dye the scales without them looking like crap. Uh, so anyway... Um, the 8020S is an awesome knife for somebody who is, you know, trying to get a hold of this knife but can't find or afford the regular AD20. It is pretty expensive and even harder to get a hold of. Uh, but the uh, 8020S was a little bit more available for quite a while. I haven't seen it in a long time, uh, but I'm sure they'll be coming out with more at some point here. Uh, this does not, uh, this particular knife does not have a backspacer. It comes with some stands off, standoffs uh, made in stainless steel. Um, when I bought the aftermarket scales for this guy, I did buy a backspacer. So I want to tell everybody uh, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't use it. Uh, so as I said, the scales that you can buy uh, for this knife are uh, kind of universal between the AD20 and the AD20S. Uh, and it says the same thing for the backspacer, but uh, when I got the, the knife and I put the scales on and everything, I noticed that the backspacer itself is a little bit too thick uh, to work with the AD20S. It causes a little bit of a gap with the shark lock and you can it, it just looks awful. Um, so if you're deciding to buy some aftermarket scales from this company for the AD20S, uh, don't bother buying the backspacer because it won't fit. 
Uh, so this is a company called Original Goat. Uh, anybody who doesn't know, Goat stands for greatest of all time. Um, I just found this company a few months ago, and they've come out with uh, some aluminum scales for the AD20 and the AD20S uh, that you can buy for about $100. And I think they, they also make some titanium uh, scales for the AD20. Um, I'm not sure for the AD20S or not, but... Uh, those are, are more expensive. I think they're around 200 or maybe $180. It might be a little bit cheaper than that. But uh, anyway, um, this is the little pouch that the scales came in. It's pretty neat. Uh, this, this company, from what I can see, I've seen a few other reviews, and they do a really good job with their scales. Uh, the fit and finish is really good. They look fantastic. Uh, the uh, aluminum version of the scales obviously are going to be a lot lighter uh, than the titanium, um, but they they look just as good. So, you know, for me, uh, I think it makes more sense uh, to buy the aluminum scales. The, uh, the aluminum scales are cheaper. Uh, and they're a little bit lighter than the titanium versions. A lot of people out there that that swear, to, uh, you know, they, they really, really love titanium and they won't go with anything else. And that's fantastic. I personally couldn't care less, uh, you know, whether I have titanium or aluminum on my knives. Uh, I'd actually rather have aluminum, I guess I would say, just because it's lighter uh, and it's obviously less expensive. Uh, but this is their card that you that I received with the scales. Um, they've got their, their website name on their card and everything and how you can contact them. Uh, and I guess when you receive scales from them, you can also do reviews of these scales and get a little bit of money off your next purchase, which I didn't know that. Um, that's not why I'm doing this review. I'm just, uh, I just wanted to show them off because I'm really, really excited about these scales. Uh, they do come in different textures. They do come in different colors. Uh, and, uh, my favorite particular part of these scales is that you can choose to have the um, the lanyard hole deleted. Uh, you can choose to have them not drill that in the factory, which is pretty awesome. This is another thing. So you can technically call these custom scales uh, because, you know, yes, they are aftermarket scales. Um, they're, not, they're not custom scales, but I, you know, I chose to have them made without the lanyard hole. So technically I'm going to go ahead and call these custom scales because I don't have any custom scales for any of my knives. So I think it sounds cooler to say it that way. Uh, but anyway, <clears throat> again, the name of this company is Original Goat. Uh, not really hard to find. If you just go on to Google and you Google, you know, uh, aftermarket scales for AD20 or something like that, this is going to be the first website that comes up because I believe they're the only place that are making uh, aftermarket scales for the AD20 or the AD20S at this time. Uh, they do also make custom, I'm sorry, they do also make aftermarket scales for the AD20.5. Uh, and they actually have a set that they sell. I'm not. I can't remember what they call them exactly, but they're they're thicker um, to make it feel more substantial in your hand. Uh, so, uh, from what I've seen on these scales, they look fantastic and uh, they feel great. Um, so I would definitely recommend anybody thinking about buying scales from this company. I I don't think there would be any reservations about that. Uh, so let me go ahead and show you these. I bought the blue pineapple version. Um, Gosh, look at that. So yeah, I really, 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 really like these scales. Uh, they fit absolutely perfectly without the backspacer. Uh, like I said, I really would have rather had the backspacer on here, um, but it's not going to work. So uh, if I can actually get the knife close enough to the camera, I can show you here. Um, see if I can get it to focus properly. So if you see, uh, this, the backspacer is definitely wider um, than the standard of this knife is, the standard version of this knife is supposed to be. Uh, so when you have these put together, um, it sits right here uh, and it makes it a little bit wider. So this area right here kind of separates too much. You can actually see the pin uh, right here with the backspacer in. Uh, and it just, it looks god awful. So, uh, like I said, if you choose to buy the scales for the uh, AD20S, do not buy the backspacer for it. 
Um, you may be able to sand this down to make it fit properly, but it's, you know, when you do that, it's going to end up looking like hell because the ceramic coating is going to come off and it's going to end up looking like silver on this side. And you'll be able to see that when you put it into the knife. Uh, so I don't think there's any way to really fix this um, without making it look horrible unless you have the capability of, of uh, repairing that coating, uh, which the vast majority of people are not going to have. Uh, so anyway, as I said, uh, this is the pineapple version. There's different textures that they have, um, I th like probably I think 10 or 15 different textures that you can choose from. Uh, I chose to go with the pineapple texture just because I think it kind of mimics, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, it kind of mimics the uh, <clears throat> the frag pattern texture, uh, which I really like a lot. Uh, so as you can see, the uh, the screw holes and everything that they drill, they match up perfectly with the knife. Uh, the pocket clip fits on here just right. Um, there's no gaps in here or anything like that. Um, these edges down here are uh, chamfered and they're very smooth. Uh, so there's no sharp edges or anything like that. Um, to cause any hot spots in your hand when you're holding the knife. I don't know why this focus is so off. Um, and uh, obviously the, the most important part, the action of the knife is, is still really, really good. It, it fits just fine um, and it doesn't cause any problems with the action at all. God bless America. Come on, focus. Sorry about this, guys. I really, I, this is really embarrassing. I don't know why this phone sucks so bad with, with the focus. Um, but I will, I'll try to get a better camera as quickly as I possibly can. Um, so anyway, uh, like I said, this company has a bunch of different colors that you can get these scales in. Uh, there's, um, uh, like I said, a bunch of different textures that you can get. Uh, and, and these scales are just fantastic. I would absolutely 100% recommend if you are looking into this company to get some aftermarket scales for your knife, I would recommend buying these. Um, Jared, uh, Neves Knives, he just got a, a set of, um, of scales from this company for his knives. His were, I believe, an 8020 uh, and a couple of 8020.5s. Um, he got one or two in titanium and the other one was aluminum uh, and these this is a ceramic coating uh, so it's going to be a lot more um, a lot more durable uh, than just a regular painted coating or anodized or anything like that um, uh, gosh i may have to redo this whole video just because of the way this focus is I don't know if it's the colors or what's going on. Maybe I can get rid of these scales and see if that'll help. So these were my old scales. Uh, like I said, I dyed them red. I call these the Deadpool scales because they've got kind of like a hint of black in them. And I think it, I thought it made, you know, made it kind of look like his costume a little bit. Uh, anyway, um, I don't know what else to tell you about this. Uh, this company, um, like I said, just, I think just started making these scales a few months ago. They've been making scales for quite some time for other knives and stuff like that. Um, but the, uh, it just, it makes this look like a whole new knife. I really think that it makes it look like, uh, you know, without having those plastic scales on here, I think it makes it look like a more high end knife. Uh, it's a little bit heavier, obviously. Um, but I'm fine with that. It's obviously not as heavy as having titanium scales on here. Uh, I would like to get a regular AD20 at some point, but that's gonna that's just a matter of being able to find one uh, that I can afford. Uh, I'll probably end up having to buy one off of the secondary market. Um, but uh, again, if you guys are ever looking into getting a set of scales from Original Goat, I would absolutely recommend buying them. Uh, they are fantastic quality. The fit and finish on them is really good. The colors are good. The textures are great. Uh, and I think that's all I can tell you about these for right now. Uh, the only other thing I wanted to do, uh, I'm going to do just a quick knife review um, on a knife that I just got. As you guys know, I'm not a big fan of smaller knives. Never have been, never will be. Um, so for that reason, I never bought a, uh, a pair of three. Um, but 
I, I need to have one for uh, comparison. Um, and, uh, you know, with everybody saying how awesome these knives are, I've always, you know, I started wanting a pair of three. So uh, let me just get, let me just take one of my other PM2s here, one of the more generic ones. Uh, this is my original PM2 that I bought. It's uh, just your standard um, uh, regular blade. This one happens to be an M4, but it's normally an S30B blade, but I changed this out with one of my other knives just because I wanted to put a black blade on it. Uh, so this is your standard PM2, which comes in at uh, 8.25 inches with a uh, 3.25 inch blade. Um, and uh, just a little over three inches cutting. I'm sorry, the blade is three and a half inches long and the cutting edge is just a sh just shy of 3.25 inches. Uh, and here is my pair of three. I bought the Maximate version uh, and then I live in Pennsylvania. So uh, especially this time of year with the moisture, the salt um, and all that, it basically within minutes it started to corrode as soon as I got it out of the plastic. Uh, so I, I dropped her into some lime juice, got some um, forced patina on the blade, uh, which actually made it look really, really nice. Got a little bit of a, a darker hue on the blade without, um, you know, just making it look all crappy. Uh, there are a few spots that kind of showed up on this, but um, I don't mind. I think it looked pretty good. This is actually one of the best uh, results I've had uh, after forcing a patina on a blade. I tried it with this guy and it, it obviously looks like garbage. Uh, but the knife still works well, no problems at all. Uh, so the Para 3 is a, the exact same knife as the Paramilitary 2, it is just smaller. Uh, so this guy is um, uh, 7.25 inches with a 3 inch blade and a 2.75 um, 2 inch cutting edge on it. Uh, other than that, like I said, everything is exactly the same. The thickness um, the lock type, the pivot, uh, it's running on a phosphor bronze washers, it's got the same standoffs except for right here there's a pin that goes in and on this guy there's a standoff with some screws that hold it into place. That's the only difference between the two. Uh, but I really like this knife. I like it a lot more than I thought I was going to. Um, the reason I don't like small knives is because I have gigantic bear paws, um, so they don't normally feel very good in hand, uh, but the way this is made, it fits just perfectly. I've got uh, the ability to get a full four finger grip on it um, when I'm up on the finger choil, choked up on the blade with the thumb ramp and then jimping is great, uh, but like I said, it's exactly the same as the, the paramilitary too as far as the jimping is concerned as well. Uh, I can hold it, you know, with the standard grip, uh, but it's just a little bit too short for me. My pinky kind of hangs off the edge here a little bit, um, so when I do use this, I tend to, to hold it choked up, uh, just because it feels a little bit more comfortable for me. Um, but I will say this this knife actually, it's a lot more fun to, as far as, you know, the fidget factor goes. It's, you know, got a lot less weight on the blade. Uh, so it's, it's a lot more fun for me to, to flick this guy in and out and, um, you know, it's, it's more comfortable than the PM2 just because it's a little bit smaller. Uh, another factor that I'll say is, is pretty good is, you know, this knife is a little bit smaller, so it's going to be a lot less scary to the lay person out there in the world. You know, you pull out something like this and you open it up and it's, I think it's a little bit bigger than most people are comfortable with. Uh, you know, when I was um, working at my last job, uh, you know, I, I would carry a pocket knife every day and somebody noticed it. Uh, and my boss asked me, she's like, why do you always have to bring a weapon to work with you? And, and, and I didn't understand why she said that. Uh, one thing that I'll say about most people, you know, when you're carrying a knife, it doesn't really matter how you feel about it. Uh, other people are, you know, afraid of these things and they, they see them as weapons, not as uh, tools of utility or, or, or anything like that. Uh, especially if you're the kind of person who, you know, when you're walking around, you like to kind of just, you know, whip it open and close it over and over and over again. I don't know why I need to do that, but I do. It's kind of, sort of like a, an unconscious thing for me for the vast majority of the time. I don't even realize that I'm doing it. Uh, so with, with it being a little bit of a smaller knife, uh, I think a lot more people are more comfortable 
uh, with this guy than they are with with this guy. And I, I don't understand why that is, but, you know, it's a thing. So I guess it's just something you have to take into consideration. Um, so, yeah, I like the Perry 3 a lot, a lot more than I thought I would. Um, I may or may not buy a few more. I don't know if you guys have seen my collection of paramilitary twos, but I'm a little bit ridiculous with those. I understand that. Um, most people don't have to collect a certain, you know, uh, model of knife. Uh, I do have a very large collection, but I also have another collection inside my collection of paramilitary twos right now. I currently have 12 of them and I'll probably never stop buying them. Um, so I don't know if I'll end up doing the same things with, with pair of threes or not. Uh, I probably don't need to, but that's just how my brain works. I might end up starting to collect pair of threes as well. Um, I think that that's everything I have for you guys right now. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please, uh, like, and, and subscribe, uh, leave a few comments if you have any questions or anything like that. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Take care. Thanks. Bye.